Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Tony once again from learnhyphenation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about what is the default time for implicit weight page load and a script So when I talk about these different weights so this is one of the frequently asked question in interviews that whenever you don't set implicit weight what is the time out default time out when you don't set page load what is the default time out and when you don't set the time out for script what is the default time out So before I show you the example I would highly recommend if you want to understand these weights in detail I have dedicated three video what is implicitly weight in selenium what is page load time out in selenium and what is script time out in selenium web driver these three videos will hardly take 10 15 minutes but will give you a great insight what are these uh, different weights how they work and how to use them in your real time framework and projects Now before I show you the default timeout let me create a simple program because I want to show you practically how you can find out because there are a lot of I will say misconception and the false blog that I have seen they are giving the false results and I will not say false result but it's incorrect answer so I'm going to show you practically how you can find out and how you can override these timeouts so for this I'm going to create a new class let's say selenium weights I'm going to use public static void main but if you're using JUnit test ng feel free to use any of the testing framework. Now the moment you start any browser. So in this example I'm going to start web driver. Web driver driver equal to new chrome driver. And I'm going to use let's say get method. Let me take any application for example maybe I will take selenium.dev selenium official website selenium.dev now i'm going to put a breakpoint at line number 10 now it's a uh, it's a very critical part so please pay attention the moment i debug this application so i'm running as debug as the application and the control will stop here now i'm going to run this particular step so you can see this option right step over the moment i execute this this particular statement is getting executed and you will see the browser will be launched now you can see the browser started now i'm going to put mouse over on this driver and now you can see complete details that what are the default values when we don't set anything so you can see this is the session id obviously since we are running a session we have a session id now you go ahead and check capabilities this is very crucial part notice these are the capabilities what i will do i will copy and i will show you in a notepad now i want you to pay attention here these are the default capabilities when you don't set any capabilities it means by default it will not accept insecure certificate by default value is false i am running a chrome browser the browser version is 128.0 and this is the driver version with that we are using for every browser you need a driver right so that is the driver version apart from this you can say page loading strategy is normal so we have three page loading strategy right normal eager and none so by default it sets to normal now i want you to pay attention to this timeouts so let me keep in a separate tab notice here by default implicit weight is set to 0 it means the moment you say find element if it is not able to find element it will immediately fail and it will throw you no such element exception right that is the implicit weight by default timeout is set to 0 what about page load it's 30000 yeah no 3 lakh okay so 3 lakhs this is actually in millisecond So if you convert into seconds, it will be around three hundred seconds, which eventually turns into five minutes. What it means, until your page is not loaded completely with page loading, uh, page loading strategy as normal, it will keep on waiting, right? So until it is not loaded, max to max five minutes. Within five minutes, if it will load, it will continue. Otherwise, it will fail if within five minutes it is not getting loaded. Script timeout is thirty thousand. 
so basically again it's millisecond so overall 30 seconds so if you have some asynchronous script that you executed if within this time period it is not getting resolved it will throw you exception but if it is getting resolved it will move to the next statement so i hope the clarity i hope you got the clarity by default implicit with zero for page load five minutes and for script timeout is 30 seconds now obviously you can override this what i mean suppose now i want to change the page load so always make sure if you are working with page load you want to overwrite from five minutes to one minute one minute to two minute you will use driver dot manage dot timeouts and you will say page load timeout and it will ask you duration so i'm going to set duration of let's say 60 seconds by default it's five minutes but let's say i want to set max to max one minute within one minute if my page is not getting loaded i want to throw exception similarly if i want let's say implicitly wait okay so what i can do i can say driver dot manage dot timeouts and implicitly wait generally we use implicit wait but technically the method name is implicitly wait by default it's set to zero right it means it will not wait even a single second i will put for five seconds it means max to max five second it has to wait within five second if it loaded continue otherwise throw exception similarly i will set for script timeout okay and here i will set the duration of 10 seconds by default it is 30 right i will make it 10. fine so i hope you got the clarity so let me quickly summarize implicit weight by default zero page load five minutes which is basically 300 seconds and a script timeout is 30 seconds you can override these values by calling this method now if you still have question how we are able to call this method let me show you technically how it works the man the moment you say driver dot manage driver dot manage you can see it returns you the reference of options interface returns or get the option interface you store in an options interface reference okay now you can say opt now within this options interface i will use opt reference and i will say timeouts i want to manage the timeouts see you can manage cookies you can manage timeouts right you can manage windows as well like driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize right now i'm going to manage timeout the moment you say timeouts method it returns the timeouts interface it returns that interface for managing the driver timeout that we discussed and you can see it's timeouts so let me store in a reference called timeouts it's an interface by the way so let me give time now i can use this time interface reference and now you can see i can get the values the moment i say get the implicit weight get the page load get the script timeout it will return you the same values which i showed you today if you want to set we use set methods okay so page load timeout it says duration and of 60 seconds so this statement is equal to this here we write in one go driver dot manage dot timeout dot page load technically behind the scene manage returns options options returns timeouts if you call this timeouts method and then you can set page load timeout script timeout and implicitly wait yeah so i hope you got the clarity please don't get confused in future if you come across this question you know what to answer and highly recommend you to watch these three videos which will give you insight with practical examples so yes that's all about this video if you like this video if you got a new insight about weights then please support this channel share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care